What is going down, you guys? We are out doing a bit of herping this morning on a really grey, really cloudy day. Predicted thunderstorms later on, so we should have some reptile activity. Loads of frogs too should be out and about, so we're going to get flipping some rocks down on that ridge there. I'm going to keep you guys posted. First rock of the morning. Let's see. Ew, really nasty looking centipede. One of those feather-tailed ones. Well, we've got our first telltale sign of serpent activity. That is a shed skin. Most likely a short snouted grass snake or something like that. Yep, looks like some smooth scales we got there. Just turned over this rock and underneath we've got a little bushfeld rain frog over there. Chilling out nicely. Whoa, check at this. There's a night adder moving around right next door here by this other rock. Oh man, that is so cool. There's a rain frog and I heard the the snake hissing immediately like I sort of clicked and I knew that's a snake hissing. Well, just turned out this little herald snake hiding out under that rock. Already gave me a good bite over there. Herald snakes are only mildly venomous, rare fanged, so harmless to humans. Pretty cool. Super common, but pretty cool. Really nice looking sheets laying in the grass over here. Asbestos sheets. Let's see who's home. Bone dry. So I did not manage to record it, but I just flipped that piece of asbestos right there. We've got our second brown house snake for the day. As bitey as ever. Got some really old wounds on that body as well. No doubt it's inflicted by a rodent, which is what they feed on almost predominantly when they get bigger like this. Although it's still a pretty small specimen. And he is biting, he is crapping. We're gonna off you go, buddy. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. Whoops, that's a pretty big rat. <laughs> He's climbing way up there. Sorry, little guy. I really do apologize. Oh, nice. Really stunning little green water snake, and man, it's been a minute. Let me grab him out of there. He's definitely not having it. Really, really pretty specimen, wow. Really clean looking shade of green. Yeah, I haven't really seen many of them um, since the start of spring. Typically I do see a lot more in winter. I guess during the days, the warmer days of spring and summer, they're more out and about cruising the vegetation in search of little frogs. So yeah, really cool. Just slipped over that old tire. 
we got two common slug eaters sporting some really different coloration and there you go uh, no. Whoa, look at that. A really decent sized southern brown egg eater. Put that sheet over there. Take a look. There's my hand. For reference, I'm going to gently grab him. Wow. Let's get some sunlight going here. Absolute units of an egg eater. In fact, really cool. In one of my recent videos, we got that really big rhombic egg eater. So here we are with the really big southern brown egg eater. In the blue, you're going to shed its skin any day now. Probably in the next week or so. Really cool. Our first pretty cool find for the day. <laughs> So the weather decided to clear up quite nicely this evening. It's 5 p.m., 10 past 5, somewhere there. And yeah, we're going to give this little hillside a quick bash, a quick little herb sesh before we call it a day. Holy cow. <laughs> Check it out. The sun has just come out and there's a massive puff adder literally cruising up there. He's making a run for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's gone. Damn, check it out. Damn, what a pity. Just heard the leaf litter moving. And he's gone. He's gone, definitely gone. There is a, a hole going right underneath that boulder. So we're definitely not going to get to that puff adder. But what a cool sighting. Really, really epic. I honestly cannot believe this. <laughs> As you can see, I've got here by the tail a juvenile Bormslung. And we got that puff adder like 10 minutes ago, just probably 10 meters behind me. And then I spotted this little guy here. Get it to focus nicely. Now I am a bit shaky. <laughs> it's not every day you find one of these in the wild. In fact, they're incredibly hard to find um, in the wild. So I'm really really stoked it's still really small they are highly venomous as i've explained in the videos before drop for drop africa's most venomous snake Me. okay so this is getting pretty nuts now it really is. We just got that Bormslang like 15, 20 minutes ago. And you guys can probably already see there's a spitting cobra protruding out from this rock. And a skink just ran out. <laughs> probably a good idea. Yeah, I better watch out because I don't have any safety glasses with me at the moment. Really do not want venom in my eyes. In fact, this is the exact same spot I got the, um, the spitting cobra in one of my recent videos. In fact... It was literally right down there, somewhere down there. And here's another one. It does appear to be a bit smaller. Okay, I don't see the body anymore. I hope he hasn't made a run for it. Gotta be really cautious. Like I said, we do not want venom in the eyes. I do not have glasses with me. This is a tough one. <laughs> Should I try and attempt to catch it with no glasses or just leave him be? I mean, you guys did get a good look. Well, we ended up turning over that rock, and as you can see, there's a hole leading under a much larger rock. So it goes in right there. I'm not going to put my hands too close, because I know for sure there is a spitting cobra inside of there. And we're not going to get to him. Probably for the best. I've got no eyewear. I'm not keen on getting venom in my face tonight. And it's getting really late. It's getting dark. 
It's actually a lot darker than what the camera shows you. But yeah, we're going to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check in next time.